do you know that your hair might not be growing because of you don't understand this one thing a lot of influencers already know this one thing so they are already using it to grow their hair but you might not know what that thing is i actually coincidentally discovered that one thing when i started my hair growth journey and i had no idea until i did my research and i saw it was actually a thing if i were to start my hair growth journey again and chop off my hair that would be the first thing i'll put into consideration when growing my hair different successful hair tubers have used this one thing to grow their hair as if you study their hair all of them understand this one thing and they've used it to grow their hair and in this video i'm going to be teaching you that one thing and i hope by the end of this video you understand that one thing and it helps you to go forth in your hair growth journey what's up all million gang is divine and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here hi i'm divine and if you are not a newcomer you are part of the one billion gang <laughs> welcome back in my last video i talked about time particularly the anagen phase the hair cycle is far more important than anything in your hair regimen because everything draws back to the hair cycle your health your food diet hair routines or habits your age if you have a disease or you are sick everything is connected to the hair cycle and by the end of this video if you understand the hair cycle you'll be able to grow out your hair even longer because i'm going to make it as simple as possible so you understand and you start growing your hair fast so the hair cycle is broken down into three to four phases some scientists will say three phases others will say four phases basically we have three phases but before we talk about the first phase i want you to like this video physically so that youtube can push it out to people who need this video all right now i want you to look at your body is there hair coming out of your skin there isn't really so much hair coming out of your skin i want you to go to the mirror i want you to look at your eyes you have eyelashes eyebrows right i hope you do now the reason why i told you to look at yourself and study those different places that hair come from all those places have different growth cycle this might be gross or irritating but this is your body so i hope it's not irritating look at your armpits i already shaved so there's really no hair in my armpits armpit hair no matter how long it grows no matter how full it grows it has a particular stage where it's just there same goes for your pubic hair the reason why is that once hair reaches a particular stage it stops growing for example your eyelashes once it reaches a particular stage it falls out your eyebrows no matter how long your eyebrows grow they cannot grow to the length of your hair because they have a particular growth stage or anagen anagen stage so basically what the anagen stage is is your growth stage usually doctors or scientists say that your hair will grow from zero to six years whether on your hand or your armpit or whatever your hair grows from zero to six years on average some people might be lower some people might be longer i hope you already understood what i just said your hair comes out of your skin and when you look at your skin study how your hair shoots out of your skin your hair is rooted your hair is like grass your scalp is the soil and the roots of your hair I hope I got that right. So your hair is connected to blood that your body provides. This hair follicle comes out of a particular root. So imagine each pore on your skin, each pore that shoots out hair. Imagine every pore on your skin is the root of your hair. The anagen stage, what actually happens is that your hair is now growing like a new plant or a new grass and it is trying to grow out within zero to six years on average. So each hair strand is a plant just like the way if you were planting an average plant you care for the plant you give it sunshine you give it fertilizer if you want to you water it the root is what supplies nutrients to the plant right from under the soil since you understand the anagen phase you understand that is the growing stage where your head shooting out from its roots there are other factors that can affect it some trichologists call it miniaturization miniaturization there are different things that can cause miniaturization in your anagen phase it could be stress another thing could be aging lack of iron sickness or disease excess dht production other things could be harshness on your scalp or over manipulation all those things could affect the anagen phase and cause miniaturization leading into the next stage which is the catagen phase i'm so sorry i have to put you throughout this long lecture but it is very essential and i hope it's not boring to you and i hope you understand 
Peter, I hope you understand the anagen phase and I hope you are taking notes in your bullet journal. What your goal should be is to make sure that you are maintaining your hair length and you are maintaining and strengthening your hair strand so it doesn't become weak even when it gets to the cartogen phase. So what is the difference between the cartogen and the anagen phase? In the cartogen phase, your hair is uprooted from its roots. When it's uprooted from its roots, imagine if a plant is in the soil and it's not connected to its roots. That plant is not strong. That hair strand is not strong. I'm just comparing it so you can understand this analogy. So imagine your hair in the cartogen phase. That hair is disconnected from its roots. Now, I want to answer this question. She asked how she can grow her hair because this place is shorter and this place is longer and this place is longer. Truth is that all your hair follicles have different lives. I want you to understand that all of them come out at different faces. You could barb your hair, like completely barb your hair. When your hair grows out, one part is longer than the other. One part is shorter than the other. Because of... All right, let me hurry up. The cartilage phase. I want you to realize that now your hair is no longer rooted, and because of it's no longer rooted, and as which is resting stage. So that's what the cartilage stage is called, the resting stage. No, I said. Imagine a plant that is not connected to its roots. It's not going to receive the nutrients it used to get. So that time your anagen phase, your hair was receiving the nutrients to get. All your hair follicles have different lives. Some could fall out. Some could shed. Some could break away into half when you are combing. And some could remain the same length. They have different lives. So all your hair strands cannot be the same length. It's just that some particular places can be the same length. And if you notice, my left side and my right side, this part of my hair grows slower than the middle part of my hair. The middle part of my hair grows even faster. So you have to understand. So remember, is your skin, is your skin that is important, is your body, not just your skin, your body is important. The signals that your body is giving to your hair is going to affect it. That's why cancerous cells, cancerous cells or excess DHT production can affect the production of hair in scalp. Because once cancer cells are meeting up with your own cells and they are eating up your own cells they are affecting the signal that is going through your hair and it will affect your hair and your hair will just directly go to the last phase as i cancer patients have hair loss like that because the cancer cells have just pushed their hair from the energy phase straight up to the telogen phase and let me just talk about the telogen phase while we're at it i want to say a big shout out to everybody thank you for liking my videos really you guys have no idea i really appreciate you guys for those who share the videos thank you for sharing out i really hope it's helping people who you share it out to because that is the goal and purpose of these videos and if you made this part of this video please tell me in the comment section i have a question for you did you notice that all the hair influencers that you watch or hair tubers that you watch all of them even when they have long hair very long hair it gets to a particular point where their hair is not longer than what they already have maybe after 15 years or after 11 years or seven years their hair is still the same and doesn't look like it's growing question of the day do you understand what's the difference between a hair plateau and your hair cycle a hair plateau is when your hair doesn't want to grow past a particular stage but your hair cycle is basically how your hair naturally grows there's a difference and if you don't understand the difference please tell me in the comment section so i hope you understand the difference now let's talk about the telogen phase telogen phase is basically the end of your hair growth circle that hair comes out from your roots and pushes it you know when you have a new seat and the new seat is pushing out the previous seat that wants to come out so imagine it like that Sally, a new hair should come out of your roots and push out the previous hair i'm not a scientist but that's what i understand any article i can get a link to i will try to leave it in the description box so you can check the description box or pin the comments the cartilage phase lasts six weeks the new strand will push out the old strand hopefully and there is shedding like the cartilage phase where the hair is just dying but it's not dead the telogen phase is where the hair dies people some people also add the exogen phase where it exits out of the scalp but the telogen phase and the exogen phase the, the only difference between both of them is that the telogen phase your hair is just like hanging like i said your hair has been like disconnected from these roots right when the telogen phase your hair is just like oh any small thing like if you if, if any tension gets to it now it's just going to pull out and that's why we call it shedding that's why shedding is different from breakage because of telogen phase. So notice this, notice this fact. When you have your eyelashes, when your eyelashes get to its telogen phase, 
any little push your eyelash is just going to come out something like that i've given you all the faces and i really hope you understand i'm going to be telling you things you can do to expand or elongate your anagin face since you are still here and i'm glad you are still here thank you and i hope you understand i really hope you understand if you don't understand anything please let me know in the comment section i'll try as much as possible to respond to you i know people already left i want to know those who are still here if you are still here please comment anagin just comment anagin a n a g e n comment anagin because that is the goal for you to elongate your anagin face your drive should be i want to elongate my anagin face because i know everything is connected to the hair cycle so the first thing you want to do is to avoid stress i already said that in this video and in this video the reason why it's important to avoid stress because you are constantly stressing your body whether it's in your diet be it in your health be it in your sleep or whatever if your body is overstressed then it could literally just drag your hair from the anagin face straight up the telogen face that type of alopecia is called telogen effluvium and i already said that in this video so make sure you watch this video if you haven't already increase collagen production and in my last video i talked about different foods and different nutrients you need in your body to increase collagen production because it has been proven, proven scientifically that the older our body gets there's reduction in collagen production taking foods that can help supplement and increase collagen production the reason why you need to increase collagen production is because collagen helps with thickening hair that thing i mentioned in my last video that also helps strengthen your hair strands in these different phases the application of platelet rich plasma prp other things some people can also recommend to you is taking supplements i have not taken any drug to grow my hair i've grown my hair as naturally as possible so if you don't like drugs i want you to understand and believe that your hair can grow even without using drugs because i did it and you can also do it and of course this video is just talking about how your body reflects on the outside and it's very important and even what the products you are applying or tools you are using on your hair falling out using products that have good protein in them even collagen in them shampoos conditioners very very good oils that have this natural nutrients in them to strengthen your hair strands please i beg you focus on your diet and your health drink a lot of water a lot of vitamins that are going to strengthen your body as well as your mental and your physical health and please visit your doctor visit your doctor to know whether you have excess production of dht and doesn't lead to something even more than that i already said this in my last video and why it's very important know your genetics genetics affect hair growth both in the bad and in the good way this video i mentioned particularly things you can do to expand your energy phase because my dear time is ticking subscribe if you haven't already 